Hello and welcome back. So here we are enjoying Prodigy Math. Uh, please do like and subscribe and um, uh, yeah, you'll be able to keep up with all of the cool stuff that we're doing in the game. So we are working on um, a, a mythical epic quest right now, which I am a little bit behind on. Um, I'm trying to collect four dizzy fish and we're trying to collect these. Um, after that, we need five necklace pearls and six shiny things. So I'm hoping to go ahead and uh, get some of these uh, today. I've been looking around for some dizzy fish as I'm collecting, as I'm finishing up the storyline here in Shipwreck Shore. So we're gonna go under the water as soon as we have this battle. All right, and so looks like we have just enough for one supernova, then we'll build up our mana for our next battles. So what number is seven tens and three ones? So this is place value, and we're thinking about if the tens place had seven in it, and then if it had a three in it, what number would that be? And so if we put them together in the right order with sevens to the left, three to the right, then we would have 73. So not 30, not 37, but 73. Let's cast that spell. Woohoo! Okay, and here it goes. So yeah, looking for some dizzy fish today and um, hoping, hoping we find some. And we're getting close to about halfway through, I think, uh, with Shipwreck Shore as well, 1108, with the uh, um, uh, the missions in Shipwreck Shore. Okay, this says what number is four tens and six ones. So we can also think about it with base ten blocks, where there are four of our tens. One, two, three, and four tens. And then six ones, so this would be 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, and 46. So having this locked into place really helps with our second grade math. Uh, as we go get into the hundreds place and, you know, sort of dabbling maybe just a little bit with the thousands, um, uh, then it really helps to go ahead and make sure that we have a solid understanding of our ones place and our tens place. Then when we get to the hundreds place, it just kind of seems like a natural uh, extension. Yeah, let's go ahead and get a Tweety Bird. All right, yes. What number is two tens and four ones? So we have two in the tens place, four in the ones place. And so that number is going to be 24. 24. Let's cast our spell, and woohoo, we've got ourselves a skill. That is awesome. Love to get those skills complete. Share that news when you get them composing numbers, and it looks like it's a rank up as well. Fantastic. Awesome. Great work, guys. Thanks for helping me get that. All right, fly to us, friend. Woohoo, awesome. We got squawks. Okay, now Squawk's buddy is going to use Ion Cannon, and boom, 1,262 points of damage with a critical hit. All right, let's go ahead and do a Falling Star Smash. What number is 4 tens and 11 ones? Okay, so this one I'm going to have to write out because the ones are going into the tens place. So we have 4 tens, that is going to be 40, 11 ones is going to be 11. And so we're going to have to add down in order to get our answer for this problem. So this is going to be over here. 1 plus 1 is 1. 4 tens plus 1 ten is 5 tens. 5 tens and 1 1 is the number 51. All right, let's cast our spell. And as we were using these structures to go ahead and draw it out to really show what's happening with the math, eventually we do want to go ahead and be able to do it in our head, build up that, that uh, fluency and that understanding of math. Wow, these uh, squawks are really doing a number on me, aren't they? Okay, Falling Star Smash, here we come. So this is 5 tens and 18 ones. So let's go ahead and write our 50... 
And then we'll write our 18. And we will add it up. 0 plus 8, that's going to give us 8. 5 tenths plus 1 ten is 6 tenths, or 50 plus 10 is 60. And so our answer is going to be 6d8. So let's go ahead and select that, cast our spell. Woohoo! Awesome, awesome. And there we go. 1999 points of damage. That wins it for us. So we are ready to move on. All right, 21 battle stars, up to level 48, 108 hearts, that's awesome. And got a little, a few more stars there. And then let's open up our chest, there's the egg, that's great. Two more magic eggs, fantastic, but we're really interested in the dizzy fish. Give us, give us some dizzy fish, let us know where they are. Okay, I don't know if we can get around this guy or not, but let's see if we can. Nope, doesn't look like it. Alright, so here is a river neek. Let's go ahead and use Falling Star Smash. I think I've got one of those. I'm not really sure. So we have four tens, which is 40. And then we have 25 ones, which is 25. And we're going to add these up. Ooh. Alright, add this up. So... 0 plus 5, that's going to give us 5. 20 plus, uh, 40 plus 20 is going to give us 60. That is looking rough there, isn't it? <laughs> okay, and so 65 is going to be our answer. Let's go ahead and select that. Cast our spell. Awesome. And there we go. 2,047 points of damage. You know, I don't know if I have a river neek. I might, I might have to go ahead and... Uh, take a look. So 1352 points of damage with a critical hit. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate that one. Falling Star Smash. Okay, so what number is seven hundreds, two tens, and three ones? So we're into our hundreds place now. So um seven hundreds two tens and three ones. And this is, that's what this is showing. If I click the, the green, there is one, two, three, four, five, six hundred, seven hundreds. There's two in the tens place. There's three in the ones. So if I was going to count this, I would say 100, or if I was going to count on 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 710, 720, 721, 722, 723. And so 723 is what those numbers are representing. And these are just different ways to express them for different, uh, different math problems or different parts of your life. Representing them in different ways can be extremely helpful. Okay, and I think we're going to try to break the mind spell of this river, Neek. And let's rescue. Yes, we're going to rescue the river, Neek. Okay, so what number is 700, 110, and two ones? I'm not going to, I'm going to um, just go ahead and click on this so that we can count it together. So please do get comfortable counting on uh, with me here and uh, go ahead and uh, do this as I do it. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 710, 711, 712. So 712, 712 is the number we are looking for. Let's cast our spell. And just take a quick, quick minute to double check to make sure we've got those numbers right. All right, so here comes the River Neek. We got a new buddy, got a new pet, awesome. And so we won, way to go. Thank you for the help there. We have 11 battle stars. And a few more after that. And let's open up our chest. Okay, one copper coin, one magic egg, and 20 yards. All right, let's keep on... Oh, wait, let's check over here. Okay, we can't clean that up yet. I think maybe once we uh, help everything over here. Let's check this. 
<laughs> An old sock, okay. I'm gonna go this way. So we're looking for dizzy fish. So I'm gonna go look over here and see if there's anything that might look like a dizzy fish. Uh, it does not look like there's anything over here right now. I don't think that a dizzy fish would be in the chest. So let's just come on over this way and see what we find here. I think we should be able to get around this water, this uh, river neek though. Let's go ahead and move on over. Come on up and through. Okay, and I think we should be able to walk right straight through these guys too. Let's aim for that tree. Woo! Awesome. Fancy footwork, huh? Okay, and I do want to go ahead and check that uh, pile over there. Anything? Anything? Nope, nothing, but that's a little bit better than an old sock. To some people, you know, to each their own. Okay, so let's go ahead and see with an AOE of Supernova what happens here. What number is 100, 110, and 3, 1? So that's just going to be 100, and 1 and 3 makes 13. I can go ahead and match the 1 to here, the 10 to here, and the 3 to here, 113. Let's cast that spell. Awesome. And up it goes, and down it comes. Okay, some pretty good damage there. I think we'll be able to do one more AoE, and then we'll build up our mana a little bit more. Here comes Torrent, which misses. Okay, Supernova one more time. So we are gonna be using base 10 blocks to show three tens and two ones. 10, I think we've got this one, 20, and 30, and then 31, and 32, so 32. All right, let's cast this spell. Woohoo! There we go. And up it goes, and then down it comes. All right. So I think that we, we are getting a sample, I believe, of the substance. Um, we'll do Falling Star Smash here. So we're going to do four tens and eight ones. Um, 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, and 48 is what four tens and eight ones is. Let's cast that spell. Awesome, another skill has leveled up for composing numbers. Way to go. And that is a rank up as well. Nice. Rank two, that's fantastic, good work. You guys are rocking this. Thank you for all of your help. And see you later, buddy. Okay, and Mimic is using Down Portal. Wow, all right. Okay, so as weak against Apple Pot, let's go ahead and do Falling Star Smash here. Select the correct statement for the number 17. The one is in the ones place. Nope, the one is in the tens place. B says the one is in the ones place and means one group of 10. So if it's in the ones place, it won't mean a group of 10. Uh, C, the one is in the tens place and means one group of ten. That is what that would mean right here. So this is the one that's right. It's definitely in the tens place. There's a seven in the ones place. Let's cast that spell. All right. And that should be the battle for us. So 2,224 points of damage. See you later, Mimic. We won the battle. And let's go into the ship and see if we can further this story and hopefully get some more dizzy fish sometime soon. Okay. Ice Crater gained 100 hearts as well. A few more hearts for a few more stars for the battle. And let's open up our chest. Cool, cool, cool. Copper coins, magic eggs, morph marble brawl, and some yars. Okay, let's go inside. All right, so we have to collect a sample of this. All finished. Let's go 
let's head back. All right, let's go back. So here we are with Eve. Let's... You did it. Way to go, kid. Thank you. You were very helpful I with it, too. handle this now. The order of influence better watch out. I agree. We got one, 200 gold coins and a basic water relic. That's awesome. Yep. That's definitely monster ink, just as I thought. You're going to need a sonic blaster to get through that stuff. Uh-oh. Fortunately, any sailor worth their sea salt carried one with them for situations just like this one. You should be able to find one in the wreckage of the ships. Can you just give us yours? This is your trial, not mine. Sorry, kiddo. You'll just have to find one yourself. Once you find it, bring it back to me and I'll make sure it's in working order. I know you can do it. Okay, so we need to go over that way for the Sonic. Um, let's share that with our buddies. Um, uh, we have to go that way in order to find the Sonic Blaster. I want to go down this uh, water portal here, though. And just take a look and see if we might find some. Oh, it looks like there is a chest over here. So let's go ahead and open that up. That's cool. All right. So we got some nice resists out of that. And is there any other place that we can go? Does not look like it. All right. So let's go ahead and go back up. And uh, we will continue on and hopefully, hopefully find ourselves some a dizzy fish. So I'm thinking that the dizzy fish might be a little further in. Um, and we'll head on up this way in order to try to find a sonic blaster to get through it. But I think we're going to, I'm going to save that for the next video. So um, thank you for joining me today. I hope you guys had a good time and hope you learned a little bit about uh, composing numbers. And um, I will see you guys next time. Okay. Um, hopefully I'll be a little bit closer, a little bit closer to um, uh, getting myself some dizzy fish. And uh, yeah, I'll be looking forward to sharing that with you. So take care. Have a great day. Keep on prodiging on and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.